Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to create a card with a round top. It's like a arch shaped card, very easy to make. And because I did a similar card a few weeks ago on the live session on Facebook, I thought it's a nice card to do the tutorial for. So to start, I just need a simple card base. Mine is 14 by 21 centimeters and you need something round. It can be a plate, a big mug. I have a wooden disc, which I'm um, putting on top of my card base. I'm trying to keep it in the center of it. And then I draw around the um, around the circle to trace that shape to my card base. Then you need to cut it out. That simple it is. And then I want to uh, create a frame which will go on top of my first layer and the frame will have that uh, arch top as well. I have chosen the papers from Lemoncraft Blue Almonds collection very pretty papers. The first one will be uh, my base, so my first layer. It is good if that first layer is slightly smaller than your card base, then you don't have to worry when you're attaching it, you know, that at some point it will be sticking out. And then I will be creating the frame. To start, I have a paper which is the same width as my card base, which for me is 14 centimeters. I decided on what part I want to have, um, you know, the frame. Then I trace from the card base the arch. And then I'm going to create the frame by uh, marking two centimeters of uh, of the edges of my uh, of my base basically <laughs> so I draw the lines on three sides uh, not including the arch side because then I will just with my hand I will just draw the uh, shape which will be um, similar to to my arch you can use the same shape and trace it and but if you feel confident just draw it with your hand, there will be composition on top of the card, so you will actually not see that uh, part very well. To adhere the first layer, I'm using double-sided tape and the glue and loads of double-sided foam pads for the frame. I want to create dimension between the layers, that's why the foam pads. Be careful when you are attaching it to the card base, because we want it to be nice and uh, straight even with the, with the card base. To decorate the card, I will be using similar elements to the one I created on Facebook. Uh, the compositions will be uh, alike as well. Few elements may be different, but the, the dress and the suit stays the same. And these will be uh, first to attach, uh, actually just after the lace, which goes across, um, across the card. And for the elements, I will use double-sided foam pads for, for the dress and for the suit. And then uh, most of the elements I will be attaching using hot glue. So I have some die cuts elements, leaves, handmade flowers, some fussy cut elements from the Blue Almonds collection. And um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not many actually. And I also will use the badges which were part of the collection. Uh, I had a badge with the brown heart on the card on the left and today I will use with a blue heart.
like the composition to be asymmetrical, so I'm going to uh, make the left uh, side slightly longer. I'm adding more leaves there. Of course, this is, uh, you know, personal preference because you could create it very symmetrical and it would good as well. But yeah, I kind of like that the, the leaves are much longer on the left hand side or or any side actually. <laughs> so I'm going to finish off the card with um, glitter and with some micro beads. Uh, I'm using glue which dries clear so I can attach those pieces. The sequins or other uh, beads would look uh, really lovely here as well. But um, yeah, I'm only using those glitter uh, balls. The, they are very small, very light and they uh, make the composition like in my opinion more romantic and then few splats of white acrylic paint and this is it i hope you like the video and the idea for the cards if you will create something similar please tag me on social media emilia shiradzan so i can see your projects thank you very very much for coming to my channel for commenting I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a lovely creative day. Bye-bye.